Why seed directly into the garden? Planting seeds directly into the garden is different from transplanting young plants that were seeded indoors. Some plants are more successful when they are directly seeded rather than transplanted, while others are more productive if they are seeded indoors and transplanted outdoors. What to seed directly into the garden? Plants that prefer cooler temperatures in the early spring can be directly seeded into the garden. These plants include kale, arugula, radishes, and peas. Cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli also prefer cooler temperatures, but the growing season may be so short that starting them indoors and transplanting is preferred in order to allow them to grow their flower or head. Root crops such as carrots, turnips, and beets are more successful when seeded directly into the garden because they have very sensitive roots. Bigger seeds such as corn and beans also do well when seeded directly, but prefer the warmer temperatures in late spring. Plants that need a long time to mature and prefer much warmer temperatures should be started indoors and then transplanted outside. Examples include tomatoes, eggplants, peppers, cucumbers, pumpkins, and squash. When to seed directly into the garden. The back of the seed package will tell you when is the optimal time to start the particular seed. Some seed catalogs have helpful calendars in the back that tell you when to start the seed if you are directly planting or transplanting. The West Coast Seed Catalog, for example, contains an easy to follow calendar that shows ideal times for direct seeding, indoor seeding, and transplanting a variety of plants. Early spring plants that do fine with cooler temperatures can be seeded as early as March and April. Later spring plants that prefer warmer temperatures can be seeded in May and June. You can use a soil thermometer to test if the soil has reached the ideal temperature suggested on the seed package. How to seed directly into the garden. Some seed packages may tell you to soak the seed overnight to speed germination. In rainy climates, this is not necessary. You can prepare the garden bed by adding some compost or some other soil amendment. A string that is tied from one end of the garden to the other helps to create a straight row. Be sure to mark the row with labels so you know what is planted where. Popsicle sticks, plastic spoons, or sticks with the seed package placed on top all work well as row markers. You might want to include the date you planted the seed in order to know if it has germinated in time or if you will have to reseed. The back of the seed package will tell you the ideal depth and spacing for your particular seed. If this information is not available, then you can use the general rule that a seed should be planted at a depth that is two times the length of the seed. The reason for this is that the seed only contains enough energy for the sprout to reach the surface of the soil where it can begin obtaining energy from sunlight. If the seed is too deep, the sprout will not reach the surface and will die. You can use your finger as a ruler to measure two times the length of the seed and then poke your finger into the soil to the appropriate depth. Making sure smaller seeds like carrots and lettuce are planted at their ideal distance apart can be tedious work. An alternative is to broadcast the seeds and then thin them out as they grow. Broadcasting involves sprinkling a handful of seeds over a wider area. When the seeds have been placed in the ground, gently cover them with dirt. Do not pack the dirt down hard or they will not be able to break the surface. If it is not raining, be sure that you soak the surface thoroughly with water, preferably from a watering can, because it is gentle and will not flush the seed from the ground. Keep the soil moist until the seeds have sprouted. Experiment and Curriculum Integration Experiment One possible experiment is carried out in the following way. Read the seed package to find the depth a certain seed should be planted, or measure two times the length of the seed. Have a discussion about why there is a particular depth a seed should be planted. Will a bean seed be planted at the same depth as a lettuce seed? Predict what will happen if a seed is planted deeper than the package indicates. Why does this happen? Plant one row of seeds at the ideal depth and one row deeper than the suggested depth. You can also have another row that is planted even deeper or another row that is planted shallower. Observe and record the emergence of sprouts. Which row shows signs of growth first? Are there any rows of seeds that did not sprout at all? Which ones were they? 
Try this test on other types of seeds to determine the ideal depth of planting for different sizes of seeds. As an addition to the activity, test what happens if you compact the soil on some rows more firmly after seeding at the ideal depth. Curriculum integration. The experiment integrates some prescribed learning outcomes from the processes of science, earth and space science, and life science for kindergarten to grade seven as outlined in the BC school curriculum. Examples of PLOs that can be covered include, use the five senses to make observations, infer the probable outcome of an event based on observations, describe the basic needs of plants, describe the physical properties of soil.